Hi guys, it's Paul from Paul Bushcraft again and I just thought I'd do a short video on the latest big project that I've just finished which is a, a belt kit for a customer in the States so without further ado, let's get into it Right, so first things first, obviously we have a belt you can't have a belt kit without a belt so that's the foundation for it so the customer's gone for the, uh, the brandy colour with uh, brass fittings and this, uh, this belt again is made from four mil veg tan leather hand dyed um, it's a really good nice thick leather works really well for belts and uh, just a solid brass west end buckle with the copper rivets there as usual to hold the strap in place making it a nice super strong sturdy belt that's going to last a long time so next up we have a pair of pouches of the customer's own design which are fairly big as you can see they're actually five inch wide by five inch high and three inch deep um, there's a pair of those because we want two making and the second one has um, a red cross on the top so going to keep his first aid kit in there now these are quite bulky I had some reservations when he first mentioned the size of these and I thought well they'll be a little bit too big but to be fair they're not they're not that big they're manageable and like he says he's probably going to keep them in his rucksack most of the time anyway but uh, they look quite nice I went for the buckle fastening on these rather than the press stud because I thought it might be a little bit difficult to, to get your fingers in there and close them. We're not having anything solid behind it like the, the tin in the smaller pouches that I put in. But uh, and they just have the just a pair of standard belt loops on the back and, and now logo. Again, these are made in the brandy and brass with uh, with cream stitching. So that's those. And the next item is one of my just a standard lacklander saw sheath with a removable dangler in the branding brass again it's all a matching belt kit this is all the same color so it's quite nice when it's all put together and a hudson bay tinder pouch this takes the the hudson bay tinder tin with the magnifying glass in the top keep his uh, flint and steel and chalk off and what have you in there so that's that's that and one of my um, folding canvas dump pouches in brandy and brass again but with the dark brown canvas and these are just 12 inches square open at the top draw cords and press those to fasten it when you've actually got it full so so yeah so that's that again has a belt loop on the back copper rivets for strength and uh, belt angler I'll put all this together and then show you what it looks like. So that's the belt kit itself together. Obviously, as you can see, those pouches don't really look too big. You know, I thought everything else would be lost against it, but they seem to sit quite well. So there we are, guys. So there we are, chaps. That's his belt kit. Um, the customer that ordered that off me also ordered a couple other items, which aren't technically belt kit, but I'll show you what they are anyway. And the first item is just one of my standard tinder pouches again made in the the brandy coloured leather it's just a standard circular design tinder pouch with a bead and a draw cord and these are 15 inches in diameter when they're laid out but they fold up quite nicely there's still quite a large space you know you can get get a lot in them when they're when they're closed up so that's that it's a really beautiful thick supple leather this i say this every time i do a video especially when it's got this leather in but uh, this leather is, is rich, beautiful stuff it's really really thick and really soft I, I don't know how they make it but it's really nice stuff it's proper sort of durable hard wearing stuff so yeah and the second item is he wanted a tool roll for his mora and uh, spoon knives his slide knife and his mora spoon knife so so this is what i came up with it's uh, again it's made in the same leather and we've got a, a strap around the outside to hold it hold it closed now he just wanted a roll for just his three basic Mora knives and nothing more so it's it's a fairly small size it comes in fairly small but as you can see there it's just got his uh, slide knife and his his Mora 164 and his uh, Mora 163 I think that one is but uh, yeah that's just a small tool roll and it folds up 
fastens around and then just fastens up with a brass buckle. Just like that. So yeah. So I'm going to start doing a version of these on my Etsy shop. Um, I'll probably do the three compartment one, a five compartment and, and maybe a seven compartment. I need to look into that and maybe modify that design slightly. But I'm quite pleased with how that turned out. So uh, keep an eye out for that if you're interested in a tool roll for your carving knife. So yeah. Anyway, thank you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please remember to uh, like, comment and subscribe. And uh, I hope you know what you've seen you found helpful. Um, this belt kit was actually made for a custom roux saw the last belt kit video that I did and commented and said, you know, I, I want a belt kit making, so that's that's directly related to that. So obviously he watched it and he found it useful and you know, he's decided to get some stuff made. So there we are. Anyway, thank you guys, thanks for that and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.